Welcome back to Team Pepper, back again with another video, and I'm back with another Big Brother video. This is one of my favorite times of the year, even though I've only watched Big Brother for a year. I am so excited to talk about this season of Big Brother. If y'all have not seen my last Big Brother videos, I reviewed last season. Well, I reviewed some of last season. I reviewed Big Brother Celebrity, and I talked a little bit. I think I've had like two videos where I talk, discuss Big Brother Canada. So check those videos out if y'all can or if y'all want to. But I'm just let y'all know right now, this video is not going to be so like professional or put together or detailed because I am going off of me watching these videos like yesterday or Monday, whenever it came out, I watched all the videos, all 16 of them, and I'm just going based on memory from the old noggin. That's it. So cash reveal, I must admit. I'm a little bit impressed, you know, I I was really upset because I didn't get cast, but the cast doesn't look, it, it seems interesting, it seems interesting. Some of these people, like, yes, I think, like, why did you pick this person over me? Like, I do think that because I'm jealous, because I didn't make it on the show, but, you know, teach his own. I, lo I love the show, so jealousy comes with the territory, but I hope I get picked next year. I am going to apply. I don't even care. I'm, I'm applying, because... I didn't think I was even going to be able to watch this season, but I'm really excited for it. So, But let's get right into this video because I don't want it to be too long. So Annalise, from what I remember, I like Annalise. Is she the one? Is she say she's been watching Big Brother for like 10 years? And she plays soccer. She was a fan of Angela last season. Leah last season. And she was a fan of Casey. Now, being a fan of Angela kind of is a little bit of a turn off because of how Angela was inside the house. But she likes Casey, and she's a Big Brother fan. She's watched for 10 years. She's been watching this show since she was 12. Like, what? That's crazy. Like, I've been watching for a year. She's been watching for 10. That's crazy. But I'm a fan of her. And I think she... Like, I love the fact that she's a female that's been watching this show for a long time. And is, like, a really... Like, I don't know if she's a super fan. She's a long time fan, but I don't know if she's like a live feed watcher. And by the way, y'all, I am getting my information from my phone. I'm just on the CBS app. I don't know if y'all can see that, if it's focused or not, but I am just looking at the Meet the House guests, you know, because the videos I actually watch, looking at their face and their name. That's it. But yeah, Annalise, I think she'll be good. I liked her. I liked her in the vision. There's nothing that I dislike. She's an athlete. Actually, Annalise, she comes off, she's cute. And I watched her interview with Aika, too. Her eyebrow, that's kind of weird, like, what goes on with her eyebrow. But as long as she doesn't act like Angela, I think she can go far inside this game. If she, Especially if she can hide the fact that she's, like, an athlete into soccer. Soccer, like, that, that's an athletic sport. Like, if she can just play that down and just seem like she's just a cute girl, she might be able to make it pretty far. I don't know if she can win. I mean, I, technically, I don't know if anyone can win. But she can make it far if she can hide the fact that she's a soccer player and just play up. That she's just a cute girl that probably is a Big Brother fan. Like, maybe she can play like Esty from Big Brother Canada. Shout out to all the Big Brother Canada fans. and But really be like Casey. Or even be like Casey. Because Casey was like horrible in the beginning of the season, right? She didn't win anything. And she was like furniture. But love Casey now. Uh, Christy, oh my god, the next person is Christy, I fell in love with this girl, like, right when the interview went on, and Jeff was like, oh, it's a little emotional here, and she was literally crying, like, I just pictured that being me, this, that would have been me this year if I got cast, so I just automatically relate to Christy, and I just want her to win, like, when I watched her interview, I just immediately tweeted about her, I think she was like the third interview I watched, I just, I want her to win this whole season, because, just based on that. Like, she's such a big fan. Don't really remember any details. I remember she kind of reminded me a little bit of Caitlyn because she wanted to do the little... Uh, she's all about positive energy and um, what's that thing called? Um, sage and all that crap. Like, she's into all that intuitive. Like, she's basically Caitlyn to me, but a good Caitlyn. And she's a lesbian, too, I think. Yeah, she's a lesbian. Um, I, I don't really have anything to say about it. Like, I love her, like... I want her to win. If I could pick a winner, if I could script this show, if Big Brother was scripted and they let me write the winner, I would say Christy wins. Bam. Like, I like Christy. I'm rooting for her. Please do not be a bust. Please. Okay, Nicole. She reminds me a lot of Scotty for real. Not because of the glasses thing, but because when you see Scotty, just a picture inside his little thing, 
bio or whatever, you would think he's a nerd. He's probably like act like a nerd and all that stuff. But Scotty was like the opposite of a nerd for real. Like if you watch the season, you watch the feeds, and you know Scotty from just watching TV. He is not a nerd. He definitely is not a nerd at all. I mean, a certain type of nerd maybe, but he's not the nerd like, like he is not a nerd. Like he is, and that's how I feel about her. Like you look at her, you might think she's a bookworm, a nerd, really smart. Not saying that she's the opposite, but she like, like they're cool. Like they're like. How can I put... Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, Scotty is really, really cool. He just looks like a nerd. Nicole, like, she's cussing, talking about I'm from... And I forgot where she's actually from. But she kept saying that she was from there. She the one that kept saying she from Wyoming? I don't know. Or something like that? I don't know. But, yeah, like, she was, like, swearing and, like, talking. Like, she's, like... She's a cool girl. I don't know. Like, I just remember her having a dirty mouth during her interview and just thinking she might have been a nerd, but then she wasn't. But next person is Nick. I really like him. I didn't think I was going to based on just, like, clicking in his picture. He looks so serious. But, oh, my God. I want him to win. Like, what? Especially when he stopped in the middle of his interview and said, like, if this is the greatest country in the world, why doesn't Flint, Michigan have drinking water? What? Like, he went there. Like, he he said he'll call people out, but, like, I hope he doesn't be a target early. You know, he could be, like, a mastermind. Like, he could be, like, a a Derek or Tyler on this on this show. Well, I guess Tyler wasn't really, like, a mastermind. He just was an all-out good big brother player. But then again, was Derek really a mastermind? Like, a lot of people question how high Derek is rated, and I'm starting to think that, too, like, Mm -hmm. Like Derek made his season very, very boring, and we can argue about that in the comments if y'all disagree. But, uh, but Nick, uh, I just like him as a person. Everything he stood for, like every single thing he said, and then he works with like uh, mental health, right? Or something like that. He's a, he has a doctorate degree, like Jesus Christ, and he's a mama's boy too. Like, I'm rooting for Nick. I love Nick. Loved his interview. Tommy loved him. Like same with um, Christy. And it turns out that they might know each other, or they definitely know each other because they were in the picture together. But Tommy, like, love him. And then, like, in the middle of his interview, when he likes, oh, and Tommy, I think he might overplay. I, I have like a little, he might overdo it. But he, what was I going with this? Oh, in the middle of his interview, when he said he was gay, caught me off guard. But I mean, like, don't really care. It has nothing to do with anything. And I just like how that is is becoming not a a thing, you know, like for somebody to be gay, like it's not a big deal. Like he just put it out in the middle of his interview and nobody even like questioned, but there's always one gay person on this whole show. And he even said it in his interview. So, but I think he might overplay because he was a really good strategist in this interview, like really good. But as long as he don't let anybody else know that he's that good, Tommy could win this season. Like he could really win based on the strategy he was talking in that interview. I like him as a person. He's a likable person, and he's got a good strategy. Like, he knows this game. Like, get it, Tommy. David. Not going to lie, David was the first interview I watched because he... I, I always want to root for the black person. But then, like, tell me if this is bad, y'all. Like, I'm black, so of course I'm a root for, you know, the black person because it's not a lot on the seasons. But, so... Well, last season was pretty easy because I didn't like Bailey or Swaggy right from watching the interviews. I learned to like Swaggy a little bit, but then I disliked him again, and he was going in week two. But is it bad? For example, on Celebrity Big Brother, there was three black people. I was like, I would really love for them to succeed, but I don't want them to win because I want to be the first winner, black winner of Big Brother. Is that wrong? I don't know, y'all, but David bored me so much. Like, all right, sorry, y'all, but David bored me so much. And I thought I was going to like him because he um he was a photographer. And, like, I'm I'm not a photographer, but I'm kind of a videographer. Obviously, I'm a YouTuber. So I, I thought I was going to like him, but his interview was so boring. And he don't he's not even a fan of the show. Definitely a recruit. Like, I cannot root for him. I cannot. It would go against so much if I rooted for him just because he was black. Because he is a horrible... Um, that's good. That's kind of harsh. But he's to me, he's not a good pick to be on the show. Like, 
but he could prove me wrong and be one of the best people on the season. Next person is Ovi. I really liked him a lot. I didn't like his voice, though, like, because of that. Um, it, his list was kind of annoying. I'm sorry. It just was. I didn't like it. I probably couldn't be friends with him and hear that voice all day. <sighs> that sounds so mean. But it's the truth. I might cut that part out. But he was nice. He was cool. And he, I think they will figure him out. I don't think he's going to win this season. I think he's going to be figured out that he know Because he was talking smart, too, just like Tommy. And I kind of don't think Tommy will win either because they're just going to, well, unless the season is full of dummies. <laughs> but there's some pretty cool people in here that know what they're talking about. And Ovi is definitely one of them. He, he just reminds me of a college student. He just, and he definitely has a, a kid face. So he's like a college student to me, like. I don't know. He's definitely like, I don't know. I really don't know what to say. Like, I like him. I like him. I don't think he's going to win. Next person we got is a Jackson. Jackson. I watched his interview last because I really did not think I was going to like him. And I, I don't know. I don't really know. I definitely don't think he going to win. Definitely not. Like, normally, like, buff people never win Big Brother because they just... For some reason, people just think that they're going to be such so good at challenges. But I definitely can see him winning the first HOH. Uh, that's probably my, uh, I'm going to save my predictions for last. But not much to say about him. I don't really remember his interview that much. Now, next is Isabella, who I really liked based on the Jeff interview. And I really wanted her to win. But I watched the Ica interview and I read some stuff on her. And apparently she's not even a fan of the show. So it's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know about her. I, I like her, though, based on her personality. But the fact that... Like, I, I don't know. I just don't want to root for somebody that's not a fan of the show. Like, Morgan won OTT. I think her name was Morgan. And I just... I don't, I don't like when people who's not a fan win. Like, I don't know. I, Morgan shouldn't have won that season anyway. But, whatever. Uh, not much to say about Isabella. I don't really remember much. Jessica. I like her. I like her a lot. And I love the fact that, like, every single thing about her interview I loved. But, uh, Jessica. It's something about Jessica. It's something about Jessica. And she even said inside her interview, like, I think they're going to underestimate me and expect me to lose. And all this crap. But, like, it's just something about her that I just feel like if she, if things go wrong, she, she could be the first one evicted. I just, it's something about you, Jessica. It's something about you. Next up is Sam Smith. That is so funny. Sam Smith, the singer. Uh, not really a fan. Not really a fan based on his interview. I, I'm just not a fan of his. Just the stuff. And then he said he has strong political views. Like, what does that mean? I don't know. I'm not a fan of Sam Smith. Uh, feel bad for uh, uh, his story that he told. If y'all didn't see the interview, like, I, but I don't want to get it wrong because I watched this like days ago. So I'm not even going to say anything. But yeah, uh, not really a fan. Not really a fan of his. Next up is Holly. Oh, my God. When I tell you I don't remember a thing about her, I don't remember a thing about Holly. Sorry. Like, I really, really don't. I don't remember a thing about Holly. Not one thing do I remember. Uh, the next up is Cliff. <laughs> Seems like a good guy. I mean, he's funny, too. Like, he's kind of funny. I liked his interview. And, like, if he goes home first, I wouldn't feel as bad as I did when Steve went home. Because Cliff, I feel like he kind of is expecting it a little bit. And he's more happy that he got cast on the show. That's what I feel. It would be nice to see Cliff, like, make it to Jerry. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Jack... I watched his interview second, and needless to say, after I watched freaking, what is his name? I don't remember that guy's name. David? Then I watched Jack. I don't remember a thing about Jack except, actually, I do remember some stuff. He looks like somebody from Game of Thrones or something like that, and he doesn't watch the show, and he gets recognized in airports, like, hey, and all that stuff. But he's really, really buff, big, right? Isn't he? I don't know. He looks like he's going to be like the Fessy of the season, right? He's big. I don't know, but not much to say about him. Next up is Catherine. I really like her. I don't know why a lot of people in the Big Brother fans club don't like <laughs> Big Brother fans club. Big Brother Twitter don't really like Catherine, but I do. Like, I feel like I would kind of be like her on the show because she was talking. Sorry, it was a nap. 
or how she wants to be an influencer, social media, like she's really big on social media. I think she will try to do some stuff on the show to a plea to please social media. You know what I'm saying? So I like Catherine. Not that's not why I like Catherine, but I, I I'm a fan. I am a fan of Catherine. I like her. And I want her to go far. But I could see her going home first too. Cause I just for some reason I can see them being annoyed by her. Next up is Kimmy. Actually I think I watched her second. I watched her second because she was black. But um or I might have watched her even first. Kind of a fan, kind of not. I'm on the fence. She says some questionable stuff that I disagree with, but she is a fan of the show. She's been watching for a year. She watched 10 seasons. That was very similar to me. I don't want her to win, but I want her to make it far. I def She can leave, like, fifth. Like, I don't know. Oh, my God, but her season... By the way, this season is full of dog lovers. Like, almost everybody mentioned they dog. Like, what if that's the twist? This all dog lovers and I don't know. I don't know. Like what did they dogs have to do all the challenges? <laughs> I don't know. This is funny. Uh but uh Kimmy, I looked up her dog's Instagram. Oh my god, her dog is really nice. I will say that. It's a cute dog, but yeah. Uh she's fine. Nothing really bad to say about her. But um that's the whole cast. Now I'm going to give my prediction on who I think will win the first HOH, who I think will be evicted first, and I will give a prediction on three winners. So, and maybe I'll give a prediction on one showman's. So, my prediction for who will leave first. You know, last season I picked Steve to win. He was one of my three picks to win. Looking back on it, what in the world was I thinking? What in the world was I thinking? I think it's because I had just watched season 16 and I knew Derek was like a police, you know, detective or whatever. And then I heard Steve say it. So I, I, I didn't know that like the old people always or the older people always go home like first at the time. But I'm actually going to pick, I would like to pick Sam to go home first. But I guess I'll. You know, I'm going to just play it safe, and I'm going to say Cliff goes home first. I'm going to just say that. Like, Cliff goes home first. But I I won't be surprised if it's uh, Jessica, though. But I'm going to say Cliff. Cliff goes home first. That's my prediction. And um, if I had to predict a showman's, or I'll do that last. Um, who will win the first HOH? I think, yeah, I'm going to stick with my original thought, which is that Jackson will win. I just, I feel like he will win the first HOH, put up Cliff and Jessica, and then Cliff goes home. Or maybe he'll convince them to send Jessica. No, uh, he, he seemed like he would go for some, he probably put up some people that he think are smart. So, I mean, not that they're not, but some people that he think will have a chance at, like, really winning the game, like, putting him up. Like, he'll probably put up, like, he'll put up Ovi and somebody else and try to get them out first. That would be so sad if a super fan went home first. Potential showmans, I'm going to say maybe Annalise and David. Maybe Annalise and David. I actually meant to say Annalise and Jackson, but then I looked at David and I'm like, well, maybe he will be with Annalise. I don't know. Um, my three winners that I will guess. My three winners will be Annalise, Christy, and Nicole. I'm going to just pick those three. I, you know, with Big Brother, it really is just a guess. And Annalise, I feel like if she can hide the fact that she's an athlete and that she's really good, like, with the physical challenges, she's going to know about the mental stuff because she's been watching the show for 10 years. She can just hide all this stuff and just come off as a cute girl that, but then again, like, girls get rid of cute girls. <laughs> The guys, I mean, there's a lot of single guys on the season, but there also is a couple of older guys that are married. So, I don't know. I don't know. Like, um, but I, I think she got, she has a really good shot. I think Annalise has a really good shot of winning. Nicole, I don't know. I just, I just see her. I don't know. That was kind of just a random one right there. I did pick all girls, though. And Christy is just my heart. I want her to win. That's what I'm rooting for. Christy, please win for all the super fans out there like myself. So that's who my three predictions, who my winner predictions go to. Christy, Nicole, and Elise. Please don't disappoint. I don't want any of y'all on the block in the first night. Please.
but be sure to leave comments inside the comment section down below discuss this season with me i will be reviewing it hopefully like i'll do like one review a week or something like that maybe do a couple mukbangs but until next time